Hong Kong, an international city that houses 8 million people. It offers its population a dual system with a comprehensive and efficient public health care system in conjunction with private hospitals and practitioners. The Invisibles were refugees and asylum seekers hidden in some kind of limbo. Their suffering doesn't end even when they reach our shores. Hong Kong has not ratified the 1951 Refugee Convention, but is bound by the Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhuman or Degrading Treatment or Punishment. Therefore, although Hong Kong will not return any asylum seekers back to their home country, they are rarely resettled here, but are sent to a safe third country if their claims are accepted. For registered refugees, they are liable for exemption from usual expenses of routine medical care in the public health sector. However, only 269 out of 22,696 asylum seekers have proved their claims for refugee status since 2014 in Hong Kong. The rest are not protected by any sort of public health policies. This contributes to fewer health-seeking behaviors among asylum seekers, and it could be further explained by the health belief model. On one hand, Asylum seekers' lack of awareness lowers their perceived susceptibility and severity of diseases. While a significant proportion of asylum seekers suffer from mental illnesses such as PTSD due to displacement and loss of companion, only very few of them realize that they are ill and let alone how severe it is. Apart from mental health, physical health is also often overlooked. More than half of the asylum seekers reported that they have good health, when in reality, close to half of them suffer from severe conditions that warrant inpatient treatment. In terms of sexual health particularly, Asylum seekers are also unaware of their susceptibility to sexually transmitted infections. The lack of awareness in mental and physical health contributes to an underestimated perceived threat and thus fewer health-seeking behaviors. On the other hand, structural problems also influence the way between perceived benefits and barriers. Most asylum seekers might find the healthcare information and services provided in Hong Kong inaccessible due to linguistic barriers, the lack of cultural awareness, and possible discrimination of medical staffs. Additionally, since the medical waiver's coverage is unclear, Affordability is also a common concern. All these factors increases the particular barriers to local health care. Not to mention, asylum seekers tend to depreciate Western medicine practices and may prefer alternative medicines over it. In the view of asylum seekers, the perceived barrier clearly outweighs the benefits. Thus, health seeking in local facilities is undesirable. Recognizing the challenges faced by asylum seekers, Team Hello Hong Kong presents to you Health Connect. Our two objectives are to provide healthcare and auxiliary services to asylum seekers and serve as a bridge to connect asylum seekers from medical system in their home country to the country that they were resettled. Our approach consists of three core components, education, medical assistance, and a health passport campaign. Starting with education, our goal is to equip asylum seekers with vital information on accessing healthcare resources. Through our comprehensive informational materials available in multiple languages, we provide guidance on navigating the healthcare system. These materials are categorized into three types, promotional, educational, and informational brochures. Promotional brochures cover our services, contact details, appointment scheduling, and what to expect during a healthcare visit. We also highlight the important items included in the welcome kit provided during the first visit. The educational brochures address concerns and encourage asylum seekers to seek medical care. They cover such as the importance of follow-up care, sexual health education, and dispelling myths about Western medicine, etc. Our goal is to empower asylum seekers to make informed decisions about their health and well-being. Our informative brochure offers general information, including details about our interpreting services, emergency contacts, and the health passport we're launching. To leverage existing community platforms, we will establish partnerships with NGOs and churches who are key supporters of asylum seekers. To ensure wide distribution of these materials, we plan to distribute our brochure during support group meetings and after church worships. By working together, we can empower asylum seekers with the knowledge to access healthcare resources and enhance their overall well-being. In the medical assistance campaign, we will provide the interpretation and translation services, as well as linkages to alternative medicine. Due to linguistic differences, asylum seekers often encounter difficulties in making appointments, meeting with healthcare providers, and reading prescriptions. To solve these problems, we are partnering with CHIEP, a local support service centre funded by HKS and our government to provide interpretation services. CHIEP provides many forms of interpretation services, including telephone interpretation and on-site services. However, to be legit users, the ethnic minorities are required to fill in forms, and most importantly, to hold Hong Kong ID card or birth certificates. These requirements impact the use by asylum seekers. 
it is proposed that the cheer program could be expanded to serve asylum seekers as long as it is used for medical purpose. Knowing that the asylum seekers mainly come from Vietnam, India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh in Hong Kong, she is able to cover the major language used in these countries. Also, the documents needed for the medical visit would be first prepared in different languages. Overall, the campaign is believed to facilitate the communications between patients and healthcare providers. For the linkages to alternative medicine, a centralized system for booking alternative medicine service would be established online. Providing alternative medicine services as additional options for asylum seekers is important as they will have different expectations in medicinal practices and may prefer their own traditional medicine. Yet, due to the lack of these clinics in Hong Kong, we could only link them to Ayurveda and meditation. In addition, given that many traditional medicines include the use of herbs, acupuncture and massage in their therapies, we will introduce traditional Chinese medicine clinics for them to book. Following the medical assistance campaign, we would like to introduce a health password campaign to you. This is the health password that we will distribute to the asylum seekers. Information including personal particulars, immunization record, medical history will be recorded voluntarily with instruction given by helpers. Useful contacts such as emergency numbers will also be provided. The health passport will be kept by the asylum seekers and they are encouraged to bring this paper-based medical record with them when they attend any clinic or hospital for reference and recording purposes so that healthcare service providers such as doctors, physiotherapists, clinical psychologists could easily refer to previous clinical notes. As Hong Kong works as a middle station for asylum seekers to move to their country of interest, the health passport enhances the accessibility and the availability of medical information and history, facilitate the service providers in the country they are moving to to follow up on their health conditions. To enable better communication with the asylum seekers and alleviate their sense of isolation, a device named Portable Asylum will be distributed to them through local NGOs because not all of them have a mobile phone. They may seek help or talk to our counselors by pressing the call button whenever they feel alone or depressed, and we will also make use of the device to remind them on their next appointment a day in advance. This could help them in receiving our medical consultation and treatment while ensuring our medical resources are well allocated to people in need. Our plan spans for four years since January 2024. Before the official launch, we will discuss with potential service providers and target community organizations. Then we will work on the rapid developments and manufacturing the materials. The educational campaign will start right away to promote our services, provide for the asylum seekers. All of them will be in operation from March. Service execution and quality will be monitored by Monsty, and feedback from both sides of users will be collected to improve correspondingly. For the budget, roughly half of them goes to communication. 3,000 portable assignments are available, one for each family, and will be passed to other families after relocation. Student counselors will be recruited for answering phone calls and addressing the mental health issue of the asylum seekers. Besides, every asylum seeker will have a health passport for their diagnostic and treatment records. 10,000 copies will be prepared. For medical assistance campaign, student and foreign church translators will be recruited, and part of the budget goes to the webpage design and maintenance. For the educational campaign, 100,000 copies of the free brochures will be prepared. Part-time workers will be hired for distribution. After we have discussed all of our campaigns, let's circle back to the health belief model to see how we envision these plans could improve health-seeking behaviors. Firstly, the implementation of educational campaigns would alert asylum seekers of their health threats. Also, by dispelling Western medicine myths and connecting them to reliable alternative medicine providers, asylum seekers will value more of the benefits. Next, multilingual services are provided to overcome linguistic barriers. Health passports are also designed to help them navigate new systems. As benefits outweigh barriers, asylum seekers are more likely to engage in health-seeking behaviors. Finally, the setup of portable asylum also provided an external cue to action. We are Team Hello Hong Kong. Health Connect! The Haven for Healing.